Hey guys, I wanted to tell you about something that I feel like is become a this week favorite. I've been using it a long time, but I've come across one that I really enjoy, and it's one of those things I'm trying to do to help me drink more water. I do not like to drink a lot of water. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I just, I'll drink a sip or two, and I think I don't want to drink a whole lot. So I've gotten to where, number one, I drink with a straw, and that helps. Number two, I have found that flavor enhancers um, that do not have aspartame um, are a good alternative to just drinking plain water. I also try to drink Coke Zero if I'm going to have a carbonated beverage because I don't like Diet Coke because it has aspartame. But um, anyway, this is a product that I have come to like. I've always liked the Mio's. Uh, not just the energy Mio's, but just the flavored Mio's. Um, and my favorite was peach tea, but they stopped carrying that one. They've got peach and they've got tea, but they don't have peach tea. So I started exploring. Well, I'll show you the, the next one that I liked after that, and that was Dasani Drops. Okay, so this is one of them I really, really like, and it's the mixed berry. And you just do a good little squirt. Uh, you get used to how much for the size of water. I mean, it makes suggestions, but I, I want it to really taste like this and not a little bit of this in water. So I used to just give like a little half squirt and it gave it a flavor and it was okay. But then I got to where I did a, a full squirt and this was just like delicious and it makes me want to drink a lot of water. So anyway, so Dasani Drops was my first experiment after Mio that I really did like. And then um, I decided why not save some money and go with the drugstore, I mean not drugstore, the grocery store brand, which it's Kroger that I go to. So I got this black cherry Kroger version, and this is the energy version. Now the energy version simply means that it has caffeine and some other things, uh, B12, B6, B3, some energy oriented things. So, um, you know, check with your doctor on whether or not you should do any of those because they also have the non-energy versions of these that are flavored, but they are non-energy. And energy just means it just hypes you up. So that's what we know that's what caffeine does, which is not necessarily healthy. So think about that. I didn't actually mean to get the energy version, to be honest. Um, I don't think the Dasani one is an energy version. No, it's not. And I think it enhances flavor with sucralose or... Um, because it's zero sugars. All these are zero sugars, so it must be sucralose or like a Splenda type product. Um, but the most recent one that I have tried is this one, and that is the Nest Tea version, and it is the iced peach tea. And it just tastes like iced tea with peach or peach tea, and um, I don't know why. It kind of gives me the feeling that I get when I've been in a swimming pool. That makes no sense, but I, I mentioned it to my husband. He goes, I know what you mean. So I don't know if it's a chlorine taste or what it is, but um, it's good. Whatever it is, it's good. It feels fresh. It's um, Now, I did have one bad incident with this, only one so far, where I, I, it came out, and when I looked at the glass, there was little pieces floating. And I think it's because I didn't shake it up good, and of course, things will settle over time. So I think that's all that was, um, and I'm sure that could happen with anything. It's just like creamers aren't necessarily necessarily gone bad when they float. It's that you didn't mix them up good enough. So you should give them a real good shake before you use them. But anyway, so those, that's just a little tip that I thought that I would share with you guys. Um, one other thing that I have not um, mentioned in a long time, because I've always told you all how much I really love my Chanel lipstick. And when I say lipstick, it's not a stick stick, but it's not gloss. It lasts for like four to six hours. I think it says like eight to 12, but... Um, you put this on your lips, it's a doe foot applicator, and it is a lipstick, and once you put it on, it's like a stain or whatever, but it's actually creamy, it's not just a stain. So that's why it's called a Chanel lipstick, and, um, and also it's like a stick form. And then once it dries just a little bit, you just kind of go and get it to dry a little bit, and then you can put the very high-end gloss, which is on a brush applicator, the other one's the doe foot applicator, over it and it's very very shiny and it lasts it kind of sets the paint if you will and also moisturizes and also looks shiny and pretty and it lasts very very long as well but of course the color lasts a little bit longer so I've gotten this in just about every color there is and I love it I love the way it smells it has like a chocolate smell I think they're putting cocoa and everything because it smells good um, but what really started me using those was the Maybelline Superstay 24 
and it's this one and it has the exact same thing it's got the doe foot applicator of the actual color on one end and then on the other instead of having a brush and a high gloss finish it just has a stick that you scroll up like a lipstick only it's shine and all it really is is like Vaseline I bet you I mean I haven't looked up but it's a petroleum based shine look I'll just show you once you put it on it's extremely shiny and it sets the color meaning um, now the color is not going to rub off on anything so like I can take a drink and it won't come off I'll show you like just say here's a glass oh it's kind of dirty because I actually drank out of this earlier well anyway so there's a little residue from what I was drinking I had tomato juice in here but look like that Look how there's no color. No color comes off. And you think, well, that's because you have the petroleum. Well, maybe that's why. But also because once it's dry, it's set. So the only bad thing is when you're putting it on, make sure you've got it exactly like I take some time with it to put it on to make sure I've got my lines and the color and, you know, the, I guess, the density of color that I want. Like I can put it on sheer. I can make it really heavy by doing it twice. Um, but once it's set, it's set. Um, except for a makeup remover or lotion, you know, that helps you remove lipstick anyway or anything like that. It is set. And then once you put this over, the gloss over it, it's really set for the day. I mean, I kiss my husband. It doesn't come off on him, which is the favorite thing of this. It doesn't get all over him. Uh, it doesn't get on glassware. It doesn't, like if I accidentally hit, like if I'm wearing a white jacket and I hit my hand to it, I don't got to worry, oh my gosh, it's going to get all over my jacket or whatever. So that's why I do like these products, but I just kind of have to say, I still am a huge believer in the Maybelline version of this, even though I went Chanel. Um, this is certainly much cheaper. You can get it at the drugstore, and it's a great product. Um, number 70 is just a good round, all-round color. I, have for summertime, used number 20, which has got a little more coral base, and number 100, which is, I think it's called Very Cranberry. It's a little more um, berry-colored. And those are kind of, and like I said, the 70s are a little more of a mauve, mauve-ish color. And um, then there's other ones. I bought the bright red one, which I don't use very often, but there's some outfits. I actually could have done that today because this is red. Um, and then I did my nails, so too much. But it's these are actually a little more. This is that Chanel that I showed you yesterday. Um, but as you can see, it's a little more pink based even than this jacket is, but it's very, very pretty. Look how shiny that is. That's a day old. Is that pretty? Look. I love it. Anyway, so those were just a couple of things that I wanted to go over with you today. I wanted to promote this again because I feel like I've been promoting the things I love so much, which is obviously the Chanel stuff, but that this particular love for this stay on lipstick with gloss over actually came from my Maybelline 24. And, um, it's also much more affordable for those of you who are going, well, I just don't do Chanel and why do you do products that nobody can afford? Um, but no kidding, Chanel is double the price. Like that's probably about 10 and Chanel's probably about 29 or 30. It's a little more than double the price, but it does last a long time and it is a really good product. And sometimes you do pay a little more for a higher quality. Uh, in this case, I would just as easily use one as to the other. I just, I like the Chanel better because the high gloss versus the um, the um, kind of petroleum product that seems like Vaseline. But I like Vaseline on my lips. Look how, I mean, it makes it very shiny. I like it. It's a very good moisturizer as well. So, um, Which usually that's what you'd use to take makeup off, but it sets it. So that's why I'm thinking maybe it isn't that. But I don't know. Go look at the ingredients. I don't look at ingredients for you guys. I'm so sorry. I, I could be a much better YouTuber, can't I? But anyway, just wanted to share that with you today and just say hey and keep videos coming to you. So, by the way, if you have requests of what you'd like to see me review or um, I have yet to do a makeup tutorial because this is the camera version I have and I am trying to invest in a really good camera setup and be a little more serious about this. Um... Not so much as an income or anything because I have an income, I have a job, and I know a lot of YouTubers that is their job. Um, but just because I do want to be better quality and be able to do makeup tutorials, so anyway, I'll talk to you again soon, probably tomorrow. Have a great evening, day, whatever's left for you. Bye bye.